Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Mastering is the final step of the production process before your song can go out to the world and Studio One has a dedicated and optimized environment specifically for mastering the project page. Now in theory you could also do your mastering from the song page in Studio One but the project page is really optimized for these workflows and why you should consider using the project page instead of the song page for mastering, that's what I want to show you today. So let's address the most important question first. How do you even get to the project page? You might know that if you click here on new on the start page of Studio One and you go to record and mix, then Studio One is just taking you to the regular song page here that you might already be familiar with, with all of these various tracks. But in mastering, we're usually just working with a mastered sum usually just a stereo file that we then finalize in the mastering process, maybe with a couple of others that we need to consolidate into an album or EP. And for that, there's a dedicated environment in Studio One, the project page, as I said, and you can open that up when you click on new and then select master and release. When you do this, then you can open up the project pages studio one and here's an example of what the project page can look like this is from one of our mix critiques that we do every second wednesday of the month on studio one plus if you want to be a part of this live stream and get your music heard by us and our lovely chat and get some feedback then definitely consider joining us would love to hear your music very soon but um, yeah, you can see that this is like an optimized environment specifically for mastering where you have integrated mastering and analysis tools like the spectrum meter, a face meter, all super critical for mastering built directly into a single window, which is very convenient. Everything is always locked in place. That is really nice. So if I hit play here on this song, we have the spectrum meter directly built in. Also a phase meter, which can notify us of any stereo or phase issues occur. And we have a level meter that shows LUFS, which is quite important, especially in the days of streaming. And we don't have to open up any particular plugins to see this. And you can also resize the window like this if you need the analysis tools to be larger. Now, if you need to detect the loudness of a specific pre-master, then you can click on this arrow here to detect the loudness information of the selected track. And this can be quite important information for any mastering engineer. Like for example, here I can see that the true peak is set to minus one decibel and the LUFS are hitting at exactly minus 11. So this is a clear indication of a song already being mastered and I don't have to master it again. Another feature that I really enjoy on the project page that is not available on the song page are the digital release and distribution options that we have built in. So here at the top, you see these release buttons and the most important one these days arguably would be the digital release one. And when you click on that, you can export all of your master tracks at once. And you can also add all of the relevant metadata in one go. You can also export multiple file formats at the same time. And you can even have a Spotify or Apple Music playlist created automatically. Now under publishing, right now you have the option to upload your song directly to Studio One Plus or to SoundCloud, but in the future there will probably be even more publishing options right here so that from the first idea all the way to the release of your song or album or EP, you can do everything directly from Studio One. There's so many other features to talk about on the project page. If you want to see a deep dive, there's an entire video by Joe that's really brilliant covering the entirety of the project page. You can check that out right here. But my favorite feature to close off this video and to convince you to use the project page instead of the song page for your mastering going forward is the album target loudness mode. So we have target loudness already on the song page for individual songs, but with album mode, you can actually level songs across an album and bring them closer together so that your end listener doesn't have to turn the volume knob up and down all the time. And you can do that very precisely with LUFS, dynamic range and true peak normalization that can be set individually and will be applied across all songs.
This is an amazing way to normalize the volume of all of your album tracks quickly without having to redo anything. And that's why I love the project page so much. It's all about efficiency. So hopefully you're going to try it out as well in your next release. And thank you for watching.